to my channel. Today I want to show you my spring wardrobe essentials which I also think works as a bit of a capsule wardrobe as you can pretty much mix and match these pieces to create your daily outfits for the springtime. I thought I would break down my spring essentials kind of based on what I was wearing last spring because spring summer wasn't too long ago here in Australia. Throughout this video I am going to show you how I style each of these pieces into different outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's start with the first item which is a white blouse. If you guys are new to my channel, I would definitely describe my style as classic but I also love romantic feminine touches and that's where the white blouse comes in really well. For me these are really romantic, very soft which makes them perfect for the springtime. These tops look amazing with midi skirts um, and especially printed ones. I think because they're so plain and versatile, they work really nicely together. I also love wearing these white blouses with a pair of trousers because these are slightly more on the feminine side oftentimes they have a bit of lace work on them matching it with a pair of trousers which are more classic I think makes for a very chic kind of outfit I have two white blouses to share the first one is this one from Marge this is your traditional white blouse with a bit of lace detailing which makes it super feminine it's also got really wide balloon sleeves which are super fun and this is a really beautiful option for the spring Especially if you do have a slightly more feminine style, I think this works really well. This one is from Faithful the brand and this one is made from 100% linen. This one feels a little bit more modern just with like the ruching, the peplum and it's also got a little bit of a cutout at the back which is really unique. This is a great cropped option and both of these I think you can't go wrong. My favourite places to get the white blouses are probably Cezanne. It's the first place I would look because they do such a variety of these white tops. I have also seen great ones on End of the Stories, but to be honest, you can find them pretty much anywhere and everywhere in a cotton material. My next category I want to talk about are my shirts. And I find myself gravitating a little bit more towards a silk shirt than a cotton poplin maybe. I find silk shirts to look a little bit softer, a bit more flowy, which personally I find a bit more flattering than your really structured shirts. So I've got two options here. Here we have a floral version from Cezanne. I really love the texture of this. It's got a slight wrinkled look, which I think is really pretty. And not to mention, it's also got this pastel floral design, which is beautiful. Even though this top is printed, I think it's very hard to not consider florals a staple for spring. Um, so I do feel like this is something you can pull out every single year and it won't really date too much. I want to mention that it is a little bit sheer so I would definitely recommend wearing a new bra inside and in terms of styling I like wearing this with jeans. I do like wearing it with um, more masculine trousers again just for that kind of contradiction between the feminine top and the more masculine trousers but I find that anything plain on the bottom half looks great with this piece. One way that I've styled it that I really like actually is wearing it inside a slip dress and then you just have the collar and the sleeve showing through. I think it's really cute as well. The other silk shirt option that I love is the Chloe shirt from Cezanne. And the reason why I love this is because it has a very beautiful collar design where it just is a little bit of lace detailing and it just makes the top feel a bit more feminine. One thing that I'm very careful about when it comes to shirts is looking for a collar that suits me. I find that when collars are a little bit big, it does overwhelm this neck area and I feel like it makes my neck look a bit shorter whereas finding smaller collar designs in my shirts tend to be more flattering. You can definitely see it in this top as well, it's got a very small collar which is another reason why I love this option. And with this shirt you don't even have that traditional collar, you've just got a bit of lace detailing um, in like a mandarin collar style. If you're looking for a silk shirt that's quite classic but has a feminine twist to it, this is a great option. And I also do think this is a little bit more opaque than the one I showed earlier. Another shirt design I really like is your oversized linen shirt. And the reason why I like a linen shirt is that it's so breathable to wear 
and I find the material a little bit softer. It's usually easier to tuck into my skirts and my trousers without having that stiff poplin look to it. When it comes to styling this, I love playing around with the texture of linen. It has this really beautiful lived-in look. And I've started with a silk skirt in the past just to combine two different textures together. But otherwise, it's pretty much goes with everything. And one thing I really like to do is to tuck it in um, just so it's not as long and not as oversized on me. Unless you're wearing a shirt to work and you want a more polished look, I would say a linen shirt is a really comfortable alternative and it is definitely my preferred when it comes to shirts. Everything I've spoken about so far has long sleeves and I want to talk a bit about short sleeve and tank top singlet options. So I want to talk about the little t-shirt I am wearing. This one is a Uniqlo U t-shirt and I have been talking about them since the very very start of my channel. I had an orange one which I absolutely loved and I had a few white options which I also wear a lot of. I think the Uniqlo U t-shirts are definitely the best out there. They come in a really thick, nice cotton material. It's very soft. Because it's slightly thicker, I do find it quite durable and it does last longer than your, like, your typical white cotton t-shirt. Just because of the weight of it, it doesn't like thin out as much. They come in such beautiful colours and a lot of pastels which I think works really well for the springtime. And I just think that you can't go wrong with these options. When it comes to the sizing of the t-shirts, I would say I'm a pretty true extra small in most things. But with the t-shirts, I actually like to go up to a medium. And this is the medium on me. So we've got quite a bit of room and it is a bit more oversized than what they probably intended but I do like that oversized look when it comes to their thicker t-shirts. I would recommend everyone to go at least one size up but if you like the oversized look you can definitely go two sizes up and I think that it fits pretty well. I would also recommend checking the size chart because Uniqlo is a Japanese brand and I do know that in different areas of the world they do their sizing a bit differently so check the size chart but probably go up a size. I usually don't like to spend too much money on t-shirts but I did make an exception for this one from Cezanne and the reason I made the exception is because it is 100% linen and linen is a fabric that I go on about a lot with like the shirt and whatnot. I find the linen to be a lot more breathable than your cotton I find that it is just really airy and when you wear it, it also has a nice drape which I really appreciate. In terms of um, what the linen material feels like, I would consider it like a mid-weight linen. It's definitely not your like thicker kind of material but it doesn't feel flimsy either. I would highly recommend this option as well if this is the kind of thing that you like. I have another blouse and this one is a short sleeve blouse and it's in this really beautiful printed material. Most of what I'm talking about today are pieces I've had in my wardrobe for a long time but this is a newer piece in my wardrobe and it's from the brand Cezanne. It's another French brand that does really like beautiful, romantic or classic pieces and I recently picked up this blouse. I've been loving styling this and I think it's just such a fun colour. It has an abstract floral print where it's got lots of geometric shapes on it but it's also got a floral kind of detail as well. When it comes to styling, I once again wear it mostly with plain bottoms because it is printed. I think having a few dainty and timeless prints in your wardrobe can really bring some life into your outfits and sometimes you just need that pop of colour, that pop of print to make outfits feel a little bit more interesting. You can obviously style a piece like this in so many ways. One of the ones that I really like is actually wearing it over a slip dress and then you just got the slip skirt showing. Obviously it also looks nice with a pair of trousers um, for a more classic look. But the very last item are my silk camisoles. I have two options here. I have a white option, I have a black option and together they pretty much just cover my camisole basics. I love this one because it's got a little bit of lace detailing which makes them quite feminine. But I think as the weather starts to warm up from spring even into summer, these just make for really great basic tops to wear. With the Cezanne cami tops, I always like to mention that the straps come super super long and you just need to cut them off and then re-sew them yourselves um, to suit your shape. But other than that, they're a great classic. Moving on to the bottoms, we have my midi skirts. And as you can see, I do like my printed options because I find myself wearing a lot of plain tops and they just kind of go really well together for a spring outfit. With midi skirts, you can pretty much style it with any of the tops that I showed earlier. They are very versatile 
and it kind of completely depends on the color and the print that you have. I have these two from Cezanne, which is my go-to place for mini skirts. And I also have this one from Marge, which I got on Vestier secondhand. And I would definitely recommend checking out Vestier if you are interested in finding some really good secondhand pieces. Next up we have trousers and I love trousers in the spring wardrobe because they work so nicely with the slightly more feminine tops. I love for my trousers to add a bit more of a classic vibe to my outfit and these are a few options that I quite like. One of my most worn is definitely this pair of navy Arquette trousers. It has a wide leg and it's just a 7 8 length which I find really flattering and easy to style. I wear this option a lot and I'm sure if you guys have seen my videos before you have definitely seen these around. My next option are these khaki trousers. I love a bit of khaki for the springtime. I think the colour is just very classic and it pairs really well with some of the really feminine white blouses I showed earlier in that they kind of contrast each other which is really nice. This one is from Lee Matthews and I recently found them at a sale. I love Lee Matthews, they're quite a premium Australian brand so I do love to shop them in the sales and this is a really great trouser option I recently came across. They're very wide and I do know that a lot of people won't like that, it's not maybe going to be the most flattering but there is something about a wide-legged trouser that just makes me feel very comfortable. Like I feel very me when I'm in a wide pair of trousers and I just like the overall vibe of them. But I do think that it's an acquired taste and not everyone will find them very flattering or, or will like them. I've also got another pair of trousers here from Arquette and I feel like Arquette just does trousers quite well. But this one is a tan pair of trousers and these are quite wide-legged and long. I did get them taken up a little bit to fit perfectly but they are a very sleek trouser and this pair of trousers I think maybe isn't the easiest to style but style correctly with really simple tops, I think can look very, very chic. I think for a petite and you don't know how to style trousers, I think having a 7 8 length trouser can be a really easy way to style them because even though I love both of these pairs, this is a much easier pair to style just because the shape of them as well as the length, whereas this is a little bit more statement and requires a bit more effort when it comes to styling. I have to say with my particular style in my wardrobe, in the springtime, I'm not wearing a pair of trousers, I'm wearing a midi skirt and there, there isn't that much variety. Moving on to dresses and you know what, I, f I do find that dresses, if you pick the right style, can be very versatile in a capsule wardrobe or just for your spring wardrobe in general. Because dresses you just throw on and you're done with, there are just so many ways to accessorize it to make it look different every single time. So in that sense, it's quite versatile, it really lets your accessories shine. But I think the most versatile dresses is your slip dress because there's just thousands of ways to style it. I'll do a video one day on how I like to style my slip dresses, but I do think that they're very essential in my wardrobe and I can basically wear them with anything and everything. Starting with my most common way of styling them, I love to put a cardigan over the top and then that's my transitional look. I love to layer short and long sleeve t-shirts inside just for a very cute outfit. There's a lot of times where it really surprises you and you can actually put a shirt inside and it really lets that like collar detail pop and it just shows off a little bit of the print detailing which is nice. So with a top like this, you're just getting more ways to wear it in your wardrobe because you have something like the slip dress. I think what the slip dress does in my wardrobe is that it really complements the rest of the pieces I have and it makes a lot of items just more versatile. Previously, I was only able to wear pieces like this um, with different pairs of trousers, but now I can put it inside a slip dress and that's a whole new outfit. It also saves me from buying a slip skirt because I've got pieces like this that I can layer over the top for a slip skirt kind of look. The styling opportunities with this dress is endless and it's definitely one of the reasons why I love this piece in my wardrobe so much. As you can see, I have one in black and one in navy and I just think that they're amazing staples to own. These two, I forgot to mention, are from Vrana. I don't work with Vrana in any kind of way. I share a referral link down below but that's something that everyone has and it's not like a blogger code. But I just wanted to mention that because I talk about these a lot and I don't, I don't work with them. And going back to the white dress, this one is the Cezanne Zari dress I believe. And this is the dress type where it really shines with different accessories. One of the examples I can think of is wearing this white dress 
And then just having maybe like a pop of color bag on, I think would look super cute together. And obviously if you wear it with simple black accessories, it can look very minimal. So it's on those plain canvas pieces that you can style in a lot of ways based on your accessories. Before we move on to outerwear, I have a couple of knit options that I want to talk about. And I think that knitwear is obviously in central for spring, but there's two particular styles that I think that I wear the most of during this time. The first option that I really love for spring are my cotton knits. And when I put out the cotton knit versus like those chunkier wool knits, I immediately start to think of spring or I think of like transitional season where the weather basically allows it. When it comes to cotton knits, I have this one which just basically has like ruffles on the side and it's you know a cotton material. It's got that lace work and almost like crocheted look to it which I think fits in with spring really well. Same thing with this white option, it's just got that like, crocheted look to it where it's got that interesting lace texture which is really pretty for the springtime. And this one's great because you can wear it front and back and both of these options are from Cezanne. So much of my wardrobe is from Cezanne, especially the classic pieces. Both of these pieces are from last year, I think last spring, but they are now doing very similar alternatives to these, which I'll link down below. Pretty much the same. And the other option that I love for this time of year or just for the transitional season is the cardigan. I absolutely adore something like this um, because it's quite airy. It does have like lace work detailing, so it's not the best for the winter time, but it's perfect for this time of year. I also think that if you're wearing a dress inside, like a little bit of a peek through, which is nice. It's a crop shape, so as I said before, I love to layer these sweaters over my slip dresses for a cute outfit, and the crop shape makes them easy to tuck into skirts and trousers as well. Even though cardigans have been trendy for a few years now, I just love the way they look, I love the design, and I think they work really well with some of the classic pieces styled together. In my last clothing category, I'm talking about outerwear. I've actually got two more accessories to show, but for outerwear, it's pretty simple. I have got three options, I've got my trench coat, a blazer, and a jacket. This is the Cezanne Willow jacket and it has been a delight since I got it. I have worn it so much in my wardrobe despite this really bright blue shade. I love this jacket because I think that it fits me really well and I find that it's pretty rare for a jacket in this oversized shape to fit me well. If I just quickly put it on to show you, I like that it has an oversized vibe and it feels very relaxed but at the same time, it's not too long on me and I'm quite a petite girl. The sleeves aren't too long, I mean I roll them up but even if I unroll them, you can probably see that it ends at the right place and it just saves me from doing any tailoring which I very much appreciate. I just think that the Willow does a fantastic job at being an oversized relaxed jacket but still look flattering on more petite girls. This is obviously the petite take on that wheel jacket, which I find doesn't look the best on me because it is too oversized, but this Willa is really great as an alternative. The reason why I really want to mention this jacket is that they've started to do more colors on their website, so you don't have to get the bright blue like I did. They also do denim, they have white, I think they have a camel color, but there's a variety of shades now that are a little bit more wearable than the blue one that I have. But even with the blue, to be honest, um, if you have watched my videos recently, you probably will have seen that I have styled this in a number of ways, and it is actually more versatile than it looks. This is one of those rare pieces in my wardrobe where I liked it when I bought it, but as I'm wearing it, I'm actually loving it even more. And I think that's always a good sign that it was a good purchase. Here is a tan colored blazer, and I always mention a blazer in my spring videos. Similar to the trousers I mentioned earlier, I find that a lot of my spring looks do lean a little bit more feminine, and I just love being able to wear it with a blazer to smarten it up a little bit and make it look um, a bit more classic. I love like a feminine touch to an outfit, but I don't like things to look overly girly. I feel like blazers like this add that classic, sophisticated style back into some of my outfits which is what I really like about it. I haven't had this blazer tailored yet, so you can kind of see that the arms are ever so slightly long. It is a little bit of an expensive job to get the tailoring done because they have to move some of the buttons. Even without getting it tailored, I'm actually pretty happy with the fit. Um, I used to think that Cezanne fits were a bit more suited to taller girls, but I honestly think that this is a pretty versatile fit where if you're taller, it will work really well. But if you're more petite, you don't have to get too much taken off um, and alter the shape of it, 
which I very much appreciate. Blazers for me are an all year round classic, but I think especially for spring or the transitional seasons, is the perfect weight jacket to stay warm and look very chic. And the very last outer option is the trench coat. The trench coat probably doesn't surprise anyone as being a spring classic. I mention this all the time, but I find long coats to look a little bit more chic. Even though I'm quite petite, I have never found long coats to be too overwhelming. And I honestly feel like it is actually more elongating than a coat that ends at the knee, which I usually don't like. For me, a long line trench coat is a bit of a spring must. And I also think that it's also just a really practical, essential piece if you're transitioning from colder spring days um, all the way into your warm weather summer days. If I'm going out in the afternoon and heading somewhere for an evening and I just want to be warm and have something practical, I'll often opt for a trench coat as well. This trench coat is an old option from End of the Stories, but I'll link some alternatives that I like down below. We are almost done and I want to show you a couple of accessories that I tend to love for spring. First up, I have been obsessed with wearing like a shawl. I don't know what it is about it, but I just find it super chic. A great item to transition your daytime outfits into something more evening appropriate. But it's also kind of practical because it's a great layering piece if you have slightly chillier evenings or afternoons. I have this particular shawl and I think it's just super fun to wear around the shoulders. Um, there's actually a few ways you can wear it. You can obviously wear it as a scarf as well. And it's just like a great little piece to combine some of these outfits when I want to mix it up a little bit. My one here is a little bit of a fancy option, it's actually from Gucci and it's a wool and silk blend scarf. You can obviously opt for something that isn't luxury, but I just think having something around the shoulders is a really luxurious, kind of fun look and something that I really like for the transitional season. Finishing off this video, I just have two shoe options that I want to share. There are two very opposite types of shoes, we've got a pair of sandals, we've got a pair of boots. I find in the springtime I, I kind of wear both, early spring I'm still wearing my boots. Late spring, I'm wearing my sandals, so I thought I would show you my two most versatile shoe options um, that I like to wear in the transitional season. I don't wear a lot of loafers or flats, so I don't actually have any of those to share with you. Um, so I kind of actually alternate between these two. Or I'm wearing a pair of sneakers. But I recently got a pair of D. Francis boots, and these are the park boots. I've been wearing them every single day, and I really, really like these. You've probably noticed the theme in this video, but I'm always trying to add a bit more of a classic even slightly masculine look to some of the feminine pieces that I like to wear. Just creating that contrast, contradiction, I think is super chic. So I love styling these with like midi skirts. I think it looks so good um, together. But equally, if I'm just wearing trousers and a slightly more feminine top, I also love the way these boots look. These are really, really comfortable boots. I'm going to wear them in a little bit more before I give a review but I have been obs absolutely obsessed with these. I think the leather is so buttery soft. I have definitely walked some longer distances in them already and they have felt really comfortable. They pretty much require no break-in, which is nice. I know these are shoes that are going to be absolutely loved by me going into autumn and winter, but I think for early spring, these are still great boots to have and to style with some of these outfits. I think when it comes to shoes, it's very climate dependent because I know some people are still in like coat weather for spring and some people are in like shorts weather. So it really depends, but a great option if climate allows. And the other option kind of looks a little bit dirty and old, so I don't want to do too many close-ups of this, but they are my by far sandals and it's just like a nude strappy sandal. I think looks super chic. These are some of my most worn shoes and I love how minimal they are and that they match with absolutely everything. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, I would love for you to hit the like button and if you're interested in seeing styling content every single week, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.